Welcome to Gunpoint News. It's news at wait. Welcome to news. Was that coming over? Yeah. Uh, my okay. Yes. News. I, 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 I think it was also going over my actual mic. Weird. Anyway, news. Do you want to do it again? No, I think it's fine. I think it's all right. I, I think it's. I think it's. We'll see if the audience. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the edit. In the edit. And if uh, the audience sees this, then we kept it. Hooray! All right. Hi, <laughs> hey, hey guys. It is Compay News for the week commencing the thirteenth of August, twenty twenty-three. Uh, I am, of course, am your host Nazareth. I am joined by by Zeno and Thalia. How are you boys doing this week? You feeling a little I less feel, black and white? I feel. I'm feeling like we should not have been ordering, uh, arguing over the uh, particulars of translucent versus transparent with Zeno. He never admits it's <laughs> wrong. It's true. It's true. I just want to learn new stuff. Okay, you guys, just shut up. Just, just, just talk about the news. Indeed, we are. Hungry for news articles, Nazareth. What have you got for us this week? Well, I've got a cat who is, uh, I think, wanting to touch my microphone. But let's 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 ignore Excellent. that. Let's ignore that and get into the news. Pat, 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 pat. He's he's a very good boy. Right. So uh, while the trailer for the upcoming Gamera, Gamera Rebirth anime was a, a little underwhelming to us here on 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 the the cast, uh, that's not all they have to give. Uh, Katakawa has released a behind-the-scenes video to their YouTube channel focusing on the production process, including meetings, material selection, design conceptualization, and more. Unfortunately, it does not have English subtitles, uh, but having looked through it earlier, it, it is it is actually kind of neat. You know, it's a little um, let's, let's if it'll actually if it'll actually load, that'd be nice. No, no, there we go. So like like you can see some of their that's like I think that's promotional stuff yeah um some concept art yeah concept it's, art it's, looks better than the actual show I know <laughs> oh, oh I would have rather had a guy in a rubber suit <laughs> all right you can get I mean, like some of the miniatures bold, and stuff no. old claim nice. to make anyway yeah. So let's, let's move on. So, researchers from Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, JAIST, and Waseda University have introduced AniFace Drawing, an AI-powered project designed to assist even individuals lacking artistic skills in creating high-quality anime character portraits. Drawing in an anime style is intricate, particularly due to its abstract nature, leading the researchers to develop this tool that enables beginners to produce professional level anime drawings. Aniface program, uh, the Aniface drawing program is user-friendly. Users draw in the left panel and the AI extrapolates the character's line art in the other two panels with varying degrees of detail. If satisfied with the AI's version, users can trace it. However, they can also refine features they are unhappy with, prompting the AI to adjust his prediction. Once content with the AI assisted line art, ugh, once content with the AI assisted line art, users choose a reference photo which the AI uses to guide color, shading, and additional details. Uh, despite right its advancement, now. the program occasionally struggles with maintaining facial features symmetry and placement <laughs> yeah, and distinguishing clothing, skin, and hair outside of the general facial region. Uh, while it's deemed helpful for those without artistic abilities, the notion of achieving professional standards remains a bit optimistic given the mentioned limitations. I'm and not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind I'm kind of keen for this sort of thing only because I can't draw for shit, and I have an inordinate number of web comics I would love to do. Like it's it's all up here, but I, I do not have the hand dexterity to actually do it. But at the same time, it's just for like profile pictures, so it's like you know. It's yeah, mm. as long as the people, the artists who contributed to the 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 database Tool. pops up here and there, uh, yeah, get their credit and their that, these uh, all of these hey. as, as long as they're okay, yeah as long as they're compensated in some way for their work, then yes, I'm well, fine with this. One would hope that it's just a case of like you know we we have all of the you know we have this um, array of different assets and things that we paid for 
yes. you know, for our yes. tour, as opposed to like, I mean, like you know, we we've seen likes of um, oh god, what's the name of the the company? Um, Adobe, just like oh no no, uh, AI bad, AI bad, no, yeah. not helping, yeah, not yeah, helping, yeah, worse. Yeah, you know. yeah. Mm. So, which I'm kind of glad of. So, uh, should we move on to the next one? Yes. Cool. So, Disney's CEO, Bob Iger, revealed in an earnings call that Disney Plus intends to implement restrictions on password sharing for accounts starting next year. Iger mentioned ongoing exploration of options for paying subscribers to share their accounts with friends and family with uh, updated sharing policies expected to be included in Disney Plus subscriber agreements later this year. Additionally, Disney Plus announced a price increase for its ad-free tier going from uh, $10.99 US dollars to $13.99 US dollars per month. And the ad-free Hulu tier rises from $14.99 okay, $14 to $17.99. Uh, is it, before I read the rest of this, it is are those two different platforms? Yes, technically like, Hulu Plus and Disney Plus, yeah. but they're owned by the same company, like the so, same parent company. I, I get that, but yeah. so it's just basically if I wanted Disney Plus and Hulu, I'd have to combine... Wow. Uh, yes, but there is okay. a combined really you, you, a yes. combined bundle of ad free Disney Plus and Hulu uh, will be available at nineteen ninety nine, uh, starting from September sixth, with the new pricing taking effect on October twelfth. However, the prices for ad supported uh, tiers will remain unchanged. Yeah. So I'm Stop. I'm I'm I'm. It, we're slowly moving it back towards cable. It starts again. Yep. Oh my God. We're moving back towards the whole well, cable package where all these services are going to end yeah. up being bundled under a larger umbrella that you pay like 50 bucks for and you get access to Hulu and Netflix and Disney and, you know. I the mean, thing the thing on that the one, absolutely... No, on the one side, uh, having a bundle at $20 does beat having to go for two bundles 30, at 30, 14 and Yes, but but thirty five. They could have really. had all this with just going through Netflix originally, and they didn't. Yep. One yep. thing that absolutely staggers me is the fact that why aren't companies going right? You have like a paying account, right? The 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 the, the purchasing account, and then you have sub accounts. Yeah. That are tied yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you and then two, that you sub like account, three sub accounts or whatever. Right, but that sub account can either be attached to the purchasing account or can detach and start paying for their own subscription, right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's entirely like, but instead it's like, oh yeah, we're not going to make any of this easy. So we're just going to do password sharing. And I get it. The problem is when you put in a pay well, point, to like, like point devices. of friction, they, they tie it to devices rather than just logins. So like, yeah, and it's just like, yeah, like if 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 you're not tying it into logins, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, but that's the problem is they already have password sharing via login, like, and they 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 yeah. want to get a ri get rid of that because my friend in Alaska is sharing his Hulu account with me, but I live in Arkansas and they don't want that for some reason now. So what they want to do is um. they want to have everyone tied together in an area. As a family account, and it's like, but, but why? Oh, no, that that, What's that doesn't wrong? work in the UK. Oh. That does not work in the UK. Like, I wish it worked like that in the UK, but it's just like, nah. It, Netflix just like, nah. You have to be with it, and I was stupid. It's yeah. all of them are getting worse. They're all just yeah. getting worse, and like, why aren't people buying them? Why do they want to go back to the tradition? They want it to be tied to your residence rather than tied to a login. And that's, it's mm -hmm. just so, it's just so, it's such a bad way. We're in the internet mm -hmm. age. That's so dumb. Anyway. <sighs> Shall Especially we move on? the simple thing of VPNs. I mean, yeesh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we move on to something else? Yeah. Oh, we got Berserk of Gluttony news. Um, the official website for the television anime uh, uh, of Ichika 
Ishiki, Ishiki and Fame's Berserk of Gluttony light novel series, streamed the anime's main promotional video on Thursday. The video removes a, uh, reveals additional cast members Misato Matsuoka as Miney, uh, which is here's here's Miney. Kind of cool, kind of a cool mm-hmm. design. Uh, and Hitome Sekine as Eris. There's Eris. Very much, oh, very different, but also it. nice design. Yeah. Uh, Matsuoka and Sekin also uh, Sekine also comprise the musical group Everdream, who will perform the opening theme song Jekyll and Hyde, showcased in the video, as well as the ending theme, so- theme song Ao no Genseki. Uh, so this is the promotional video, and the song's all right. Um, the the video is is it's not bad. I'm intrigued. I, I uh, yeah. of course, it's a white haired, red red eyed wife who's in there's going right for all that. <laughs> no, actually, to be fair, it's it's very on par with sort of like the society going against uh, the outcast hero, very similar to uh, Arafaretta's like first few episodes and things. Yeah, but it's a case of like you know, will it actually follow through with it, or will it just like you know? Pivot? And I, I, I'm pretty. Yeah, you know, so I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm it, pretty it, intrigued. May be, it may be trash. Yeah. I'm pretty Anyone intrigued. Anyone find out? Mm. Right. Fair enough. So, ah. next up. During the Tencent Video Animation Festival 2023, Tencent unveiled plans for a remake of the 1979 classic anime Hana Nako Lun Lun, or Lun Lun the Flower Child, co produced by Toei Animation's Shanghai subsidiary and Tencent Video. The announcement included a teaser visual. The original anime consisted of 50 episodes, premiering, uh, premiered in February 1979, and a movie followed in March 1980. The storyline centers around Lun Lun, the flower girl, on a quest to locate the rainbow flower, necessary for the ascension of a new ruler to the throne of the flower planet king. So the reason I Which, included this one... Uh, sorry, Thaley, did you have a comment? Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, this is... Oh, so this is where uh, the... Uh, movie epic stole its plot from okay (laughs) um so the reason i included this one is because we've talked before about tencent pushing into the animation industry um and this Uh. is the first story i've seen with you know with that sort of the sort of idea going behind it um and it also we've also covered uh, i can't remember which which um like classic and uh anime i think it was somebody from Madhouse, maybe? I don't remember. I was talking about how a lot of anime is leaving, like, production is leaving China and moving to... um, I mean, leaving Japan. Sorry, yes, leaving leaving Japan and going to China. Uh, And so I feel like this is is part of that sort of whole thing. Anyway, shall we move on to the next one? Yep, okay, so during the Pokemon Presents livestream, it was announced that a new series... So a new anime web series called Haldean Winds. Uh, Haldean. Yeah, I'm not what sure if it's Pal- Paldean. Um, right. Will accompany the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video games starting on September 6th. The four episode series will be animated by Wit Studio because, you know, they need to <laughs> increase the time between the next episode of Attack on Titan uh, and will air on the official Pokemon YouTube channel. Additionally, the first part of the game's The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero DLC, titled The Teal Mask, is set to release on September 13th, featuring new Pokemon additions. Um, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet details can be found in the live stream around 19 minutes and 7 seconds. And both the video uh, and more info on the DLC are available in the link in the story below. Yeah, there's there's a lot more here that we did not cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because, fairly sure they but, are putting in another Poke Waifu as well. What? Uh, they always put in some older trainer who was part of the... Uh, DLC that one probably and yeah. okay yeah that that's the one you're talking yeah, about looks like it yeah, yeah. That's, I, I, I think the I only other the, one uh, is I thought I saw the uh, Twitter artist responding <laughs> anyhow I guess there's a couple of other ones in there anyway yeah 
the one right before him. Anyway, I can't freeze on the, the frame exactly. Let's let's move on. Oh, Zeno, Zeno, we got great news. We got great news coming up here. Um, the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed franchise has released trailers for the upcoming HD remastered screenings of the Gundam Suit. A Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Special Edition and Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny Special Edition compilation films in Japan. The release dates for the three Gundam Seed Special Edition films are August 25th, September 8th, and September 22nd, while the four Gundam Seed Destiny Special Edition films will appear on October 6th, October 20th, November 3rd, and November 17th. These screenings pave the way for the upcoming Gundam Seed Freedom film, which leads us directly to our next story. However, I mean, if you want to just Indeed. quickly have a have a gander at the the HD quality. Oh, look at that HD no, quality. No, no, no. Sorry, look sorry. at that sorry, look at that back, Twitter back that compressed up, back HD back quality. That. No, no, back it up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Right, and play it. All right. At one point in time, I swear he pulls a face. Wait for it. There. What is that face? <laughs> <laughs> it's an anime right. screen face, you know? Why why is his pupil so off center from his iris? Because oh my God, he's looking it is. to the top right. Oh my huh? god. Because he's looking to the top right. Oh it, but your pupil doesn't and into, a, and into a bright light. Uh I I don't think that's how that works. Uh what do you mean off center? It kinda of looks alright to me. No. I, no. I mean, iris doesn't even look well. Right. That's besides the point. No, exactly. <laughs> like, there's so also, there's there's also this some... one, which is... Uh, I'm not sure which movie this is, it's... but... Yeah. It looks so bad. It still looks like... It. What the fuck? Oh, it's still... the physics. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta make sure to, to, to include that in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta get some yes. Gynax thing going on. Um, wow. wow. It just... It just, like... I just <laughs> fucking... Gundam C just looks so bad. It looks like it was made at the... Like, you know... In the early 2000s, I was like, it oh, was we made, could. It was made in the early 2000s. It was no, made in the, the early 2000s. No, the original seed, right? That was the oh, Freedom oh, trailer. Oh. Yeah. Right? This is brand new footage, never for, before seen. No, right? this is not. But it still oh, wait, looks. This is Freedom. Oh, yeah. It is. That's the seed, yeah. But, like, oh, it still looks like it was made in 2000. It's like, we could upscale everything and make it look not but. Or we could download and scale everything and make it look but. To be fair, this is look, also look, on Twitter. Look, no, but, no, no. There's just no but, detail on the actual Gundams. Yeah, it's all very flat. It's so super oh, flat. Yeah. <laughs> well, at uh, least um, Thingy Me isn't super flat in this one. Oh so, my god. Uh, Speaking it of does freedom, move straight on to the uh, to the very next thing. The upcoming Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom Film Project has revealed its second promotional video. Introducing the cast and showcasing character visuals, Mobile Seat Gundam Seed director Mitsuo Fukuda will return at Bando Namco Filmworks, and the film is scheduled to premiere in Japan on January 26, 2024. The film's narrative is situated in the cosmic era 75, CE 75. Uh, Mitsuo Fukuda also co wrote the script alongside his late wife Chiaki Morasawa, as well as Liu Goto. Hisashi Hirai is returning for the character design. And the film is an integral part of the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Project Ignited initiative, which launched in 2021 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the original Mobile Suit Gundam Seed anime. This comprehensive initiative includes not only the film, but also a new Mobile Suit Gundam Seed game and the Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Eclipse side story manga. Uh, offering fans a diverse and engaging Gundam Seed experience. So, you know, there's so much Gundam Seed out there for you. Also, let's take a minute to just appreciate this frame. Just, just appreciate this frame. Just mm, look at all that amazing shading and detail. Oh boy. I don't, I don't, I don't I'm fairly fucking... sure. I'm fairly sure there's an obscure Reddit for that. <laughs> all, that, all that Gundam seed all over the oh place. Oh my god! It just looks. But it really I don't care look, the fact. Like the, <laughs> some of these scenes look okay, look kind of neat, but the, but so much of it is just it's just awful. <sighs> but like it's it's just oh god the plot and the motivation of all the characters. It's just it's just emo to the extreme. It yeah. is just like nth degree emo. <laughs> 
Right. But Zeno, it's war, uh, and war is hell. Anyway, let's God, move on I to something better. Right. Everyone ever right. changes. Okay, so moving <laughs> on to the fourth compiled volume of the VV Flora I Song manga by uh, VV Score and uh, Morito Yama, uh, Yamataka is being listed on Amazon as the final volume, set to release on September 7th. Debuting on Mag Garden's Magcomi website in April 2021, the manga's third volume was released in Japan on January 10th. The anime by Wit Studio, which premiered in April 2021, was based on I- 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 Eiji Umahara. IG, oh, oh, sorry, I just realized you got it afterwards, right? <laughs> nice. Um, Omahara and uh, Tape uh, Nagatsuki uh, VV prototype novels, which served as a concept novel written prior to the production of the anime. Although the anime was considered an adaptation of these novels, um, yep, I did read that right, their commercial release began after the anime's airing. The novel's illustrations were crafted by... Laundra? Laundra? I think it's Laundra. Yeah. Uh, the original character... Sorry, uh, the original character designer of the anime. So, yeah. Uh, I, I'm I, interested. I did, you did... Like, you were right. It was listed as an original work, but I think it's because it came out before the novels. But it's, yeah, it's like, like a... Hmm. It's like a situation like uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. They were working on the book and the movie at the same time. And I think mm. the movie came out first. Uh, cool. But yeah, yeah, it's it's that kind of situation. That's yeah, that's that's neat. Well, the story's gonna be done, and now you can go read it. Anyway, uh, we have we, we do have a bit of bad news to end on. I this is a last minute edition. Uh... <laughs> the anime adaptation of Zom One Hundred Bucket List of the Dead revealed through its official Twitter account that its sixth episode will be postponed by one week, airing on August twenty seventh as the 2023 World Athletics Championships will be broadcast on August 20th, August 20th in Japan. This follows a similar one-week delay for the fifth episode, which prompted the airing of a special program in its st- uh, in its stead it's in the dead. prior week. Yeah. So Okay, this- that's not too bad. I was like, but it's, <laughs> it's not great because how much more delays is it going to get and things? Exactly. It's already um, behind two weeks now. Yeah, so Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well. But I'm I, I watched the, the, the latest episode today and I was like, Oh yeah, no, I do enjoy this. But again, when you you're interrupting the, the broadcast of the show as badly as this, it's just like kind yeah. of just puts a dampener on it because you can't look forward to it. Yep. So. Yep. Well, I mean but you know how sports is. At least sports gotta take priority. At least man. sports. At least it isn't a pandemic that's uh you know, knocking out production. Oh, God, that's true. Right, well, that will do it for the news this week. Make sure you stay tuned later this week for Confi Cast, where we're going to be discussing the the sixth episode follow-up to the season's anime. Uh, what shows for have all we... all that do have a sixth episode, I mean, that's, come on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what shows have we finally dropped? What shows are, are you know, doing doing some good times? Uh, yeah, keep, keep, keep an eye out for that. And uh, anything else to add, guys? News! News! News. (laughs) Get out of here.